I was I was really happy with the defense today. Um, so much so much improvement. I thought in a couple of days, um, just a, a renewed energy and intensity. I thought defensively. I thought our zone looked really good. We just we seem to communicate a little bit better, and uh, overall, really really pleased. I thought the rebounding was better. Um, generally, every, everything just looked better. Uh, offensively, we did some really good things in the second half, and I think we're just going to continue to get better offensively as we get, work our combinations and uh, people in the game. But I thought Lindsay was superb. It was great <laughs> to have her on the floor for all that time. And, and having Taya back was a, just a huge, huge boost for all of us. That was really important, I think, to get her back in the lineup. So really happy with everybody today. No, not everybody. Can you just describe the switch for you guys when you went to that zone? And how it just kind of changed everything. Well, we hadn't we hadn't shown it before. We didn't play much of it last year, so I, I think they probably were expecting a little more man to man. And I, I thought the way we played it was just really we really smart. I thought we um, you know we we communicated well. We helped each other really well. And you know they missed some shots. I think they got some open shots that they missed. And I think they they were pressing a little bit after missing. Uh, a few shots, so really, really could have turned the game around even quicker had we made some shots offensively. But um, I thought it was good. And Matt, it's the kind of same question for you. I mean, what what changed for you guys once the the defensive end started picking up? I think just we threw a different look at them. Um, tried the zone. It started working really well. We were communicating on the screens and everything, um, trying to get rebounds. And I think we disrupted them a little bit, and um, so we stuck with it for a little bit. And how did that fuel your offense from there? You guys said, I think, four or five down the stretch to kind of open it up. And yeah, well, we try to uh, play good defense, which leads to offense. Um, some of our shots weren't going on offense, so try to pick it up on defense to lead to points. I think that happened. You had 38 points inside today, I believe. Easy to get inside. I thought Taya and Kat really were, were working hard inside. Bree was a little bit off today, um, but I thought those two did a really nice job. I thought we were looking inside. We were trying to post them up a little bit more than we did in the last game, and I thought we were a little more effective doing it. How important is it to have Taya back and playing, especially if they're focusing all their effort on Brianna in the middle and maybe she's a little off? Yeah, I, I think the big thing with Taya is that the experience. She just has that big game experience. She has the defensive ability. Uh, she's a good communicator. Everything that she does, uh, she just makes us all a little bit more confident because she's done it all before. So I, I think having that, uh, that experience in the lineup, I think, is really important for us. And uh, Catherine, just uh, your game tonight, 6-9, pretty efficient. Uh, is it just a matter of being in the flow of the offense and getting your points as they came to you? Yeah, I think it's just being in the right spot at the right time. You know, um, it's easy looking high low. I know Taya found me a couple times. Lindsay found me, you know, and also running the floor. I think it's just or just defense leading in the offense. I think that's really what helped. helped. Uh, probably no concern when you guys are, are tight there in the first half, but just uh, what's the, the mood or the mindset, Lindsay? when you guys are playing kind of a close game there to kick it into that next gear? I think we focused on um, just kind of slowing down and taking our times. I think we forced a few passes, which led to some turnovers for them or easy back baskets for them. So I think we just focused on taking our time and working our sets and just calming down a little bit because we had some easy shots that we were just missing uh, underneath uh, around the basket. What do you say to them at halftime about the shooting? Anything? I was just... really happy at halftime. You know, they only had, uh, I think, 17 points, and that was that was just great defense. And that's that's all we can control. We can't control the ball going in the basket. I thought the shots we were getting were good. We took maybe a couple too many threes. I thought we could have got inside a little bit more. We never really got to the foul line. Uh, I think that there was a couple of quarters where nobody got to the foul line. So I, I thought it was a, a really a well officiated game that we could, <clears throat> you know, all play our game. But I thought we could have tried a little harder to maybe get some contact by driving the ball. And then anything particular from this game you think you can take into Saturdays or? Into yeah, I think, I think a lot of positives and yet still some things we can fix. You know, I think offensively, we got some work to do. I think our sets are good. We we just we need to work on our post feed. I think we can uh, we can run a little bit better. I, I don't think we got the transition game going quite as well as we could have today. And um, plenty. There's there's a whole list of things we can <laughs> we can get better at. And then that zone, we likely to see a lot more of it this year. Do you, uh, 
Excuse me. And then we're likely to see a lot more of back on his own defense this year. You know, I, I think we're a team that's going to take each game and say, you know, today the 1-2-2 two, two is great. Uh, the next game we might not play any zone. So I, I think that we'll, we'll give some different looks in different games depending on the offense and how we're guarding them. Uh, this, this was a team that was difficult to guard. They ran really great sets on man-to-man. -man. So I thought the zone was, was better for us today. Was the plan to run that in this game regardless or? Yeah, we wanted to, to at it? least try it. And then when we looked at their offense, uh, you know, we have a couple of zones that we look at, and then the 1-2-2 two, two seemed the best fit uh, for their offense. Are you still feeling combination? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's going to be till January. <laughs> yeah, we got, we got, we got a, you know, a lot of depth and trying to put those pieces together, uh, especially when two of them are freshmen and you just don't know. Uh, I thought Enrique played really well today. And, and Marina played really well last game. So, you know, I, I think the two of them are really important to us, and we just try to get them a little more consistent. Any final questions? Uh, looking ahead then to Saturday's game in particular, do you think there's anything that um, just needs to be done? Or well, you know, it's our first road game, so that's always a challenge. Uh, I think it's a sellout uh, from what I've heard. It's, the tickets have been gone since uh, – maybe August or September. So they really like their women's basketball in South Dakota. So it's going to be a challenge. I think we're going to, it's our first hostile arena. Uh, we have a veteran group starting, so we hope that they'll be setting the tone. But then after that, uh, you know, getting the freshmen adjusted on the road, everything's, everything's new. So that's always a concern. Okay. Thank you, ladies. Appreciate Thank you. It.